Look at the Marvels, man. This was something that, again, Kevin Feige was really cheering for. And it didn't work out. Yeah. And and then at the end of that, Brian, I, I felt like sad when I got out of the movie theaters and I saw that rehash of what they did long ago, Brian. It just felt cheap. It felt it felt like what it, what are we doing here? I don't want to see the Young Avengers. What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Report. I'm your host Pablo, and joining me as always is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, they just don't seem to want to let it go. And I, and I was thinking to myself that perhaps there's a story that they want to tell that Kang's presence is required in order to tell this story. What I'm hoping for, Brian, is that they don't tell the story of that the Beyond there is a variant of Kang. I'm not, I, I'm just not buying it. The rumor, there was rumor that the Beyonder may make an appearance, but as the Beyonder and not a variant of Kang, which of Kang, which is I'm, I'm cool with. So there's rumors of uh, recasting uh, the Kang character. Everybody knows why. Who's the gentleman that the rumors are swirling around for this guy to be, uh, be the replacement? Coleman Domingo. Yes. Uh, there, what's the Netflix movie, Rustin? Yeah, up, up, up and comer. He's. I think he's already yes. either won or been nominated for an Emmy. Um, so he's definitely he's definitely got some shine. Uh, and so this is not this is not it. And this is something that I think um, has some support in the fandom. Right. This is mm -hmm. not totally kind of out of left field. Mm -hmm. uh, but the idea that he would actually take over the part. He did not. I think when asked about it, he did not actually say no. He kind of said the concept of it would be exciting and that he was kind of honored to be thought of in. Uh, in that capacity. Your thoughts, Brian? So, <laughs> I kind of like it, but maybe maybe for a perverse reason. <laughs> Which is? I don't want to see Doom ruined or anything else. I think this is, I think the multiverse saga is kind of a lost cause. And I feel like if they are going to go down with the ship of actually releasing these kind of original Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars ideas, I just as soon see them recast and stick to the story that hasn't been landing with audiences rather than screw up another one. I mean, I, I know that's the wrong way to look at it, but I just think I was very concerned about the idea of a doom pivot just because I don't want to see that character shoehorned up in, right? and yeah, shoehorned yeah. in. And I feel like a recast, it at least like whatever they were planning to do, it allows them to do. And like, yeah, that hasn't really worked for any of us so far, but that maybe that's the lesser of evils if they just kind of stick to that path. What? <clears throat> what? What's, what? What? What story do you think they're trying to tell, Brian? I, because I, I'm, I could have sworn, not, not that they had this planned, because the conversations that we've had, Brian, you have sort of said, yo, we let's not do Avengers. Well, that's yeah. my first choice, right? Yeah. I, my unrealistic first choice is that we just wipe Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars off the board, call it a day, and we just come back to this when we're actually ready to do it with a different story in a different time. I realize that that is a not happening, like from the studio's perspective. Like, I'm just saying that to me would be the creatively bold and probably commercially um, long term best solution. But they're going to move. I mean, they clearly have new right. They have Waldron writing five and six. I mean, they're clearly going to try to forge ahead. So if that's the case, I guess I'd rather them just stick with the Kang storyline than, as I said, go go somewhere else. I just, as you say, you know, based on what we know about Secret Wars, the comic, I, I guess, you know, maybe maybe all they really intend to do is retain the two overarching concepts of we're going to link all these pieces of the multiverse so we can get, you know, cameo heaven with as many of these actors and celebrities and characters coming back for their version of portals. And maybe we get some ver version of what occurred in the comics where the Avengers are basically transported right to this planet where they have to kind of fight um, for the, for the universe's survival. Like maybe we're just getting those two basic concepts and that's really the only kind of secret wars comic aspect of this they want to stick to, but um yeah it just sounds like a lot well and as i said like it's still none of this addresses you know it's like 
whether it was majors, whether it's Coleman Domingo, whether it was going to be John Bayhago, who clearly said no, it doesn't like to me. It's like the fundamental problem was not Kang. The fundamental mm-hmm. problem was the Avengers. And none yeah. of this will change yeah. that. Correct. No matter how you finesse this, we're not going to see. We're perhaps not going to see Cap. We're definitely not going to see Scarlett Johansson unless they do some secret war stuff where whatever. You're not going to see Downey because of the price tag. Yeah, and then Thor, we don't know. It's I mean, just... listen, they, if they bring Gareth Edwards in and he knocks out a Thor 5, that's like, okay, then maybe we've rehabbed Thor to where I'm, we could, he's now a viable linchpin to this team. He's certainly powerful enough if he's played right. Um. You know, and I, I would have said like before. They, I think they're going to get. They're going to pay down to you. They're going to pay him, yo. They're gonna. They could. They can't afford to for this not but to be I, a billion. They're I gonna mean, pay him, yo. They're gonna pay him. I, What's a hundred million dollars to their billions of dollars that they want to get? Right. So here's a question. Okay. Which side of that debate do you think Kevin Feige will be on? Because I think he will oppose it to the very end. I think if it happens, it will be a Bob Iger decision, not a Kevin Feige decision. Because Kevin Feige has been very clear about saying he does not want to cheapen or undo the impact of the end of Endgame. And he's also said in the book, right, this this important quote about he views it kind of like James Bond, where you don't, right, you want to just keep putting new people into the same part. You don't want to be just recycling the same person forever. Like that's his, if that's his mantra, he's not going to be pitching this to the execs. The question is whether the moneymakers are going to say, you have to pay him because we need we need ducats um you know how do you i mean like i mean look at the marvels man this was something that again kevin feige was really cheering for and it didn't work out so I mean, I, yeah yeah and and then at the end of that brian i i i, I felt yeah. I felt low. I felt like sad when I got out of the movie theaters and I saw that rehash of what they did long ago, Brian. It just felt cheap. It felt it felt like what it, what are we doing here? I don't want to see the Young Avengers. No. I don't. No. The only Young Avengers I want to see do the movie that they did, the animated joint. Do that joint. I'll see that. But not no saga. Those are the kinds of things you can do when when your franchise is in a strong position, not the kinds of things you can do when the senior Avengers are non-existent. I think you would, that's why like you need to me it's like you're you you I think you're almost like three solid characters short. Like three heroes short. Like I don't know, I'm just kind of pulling a number out, but I'm just sort of doing it in my head based upon the original lineup, right? It's like okay, they started with Iron Man, Cap and Thor, right? Those were the fundamental tenets of what became the original and Avengers. Hulk, and Hulk, but okay. But, but Hulk didn't... Sh- yeah. yeah, but okay. I understand what you're saying, but that mm-hmm. that, that kind of was went in a different direction. Sure. But yes, you're right. Um, and a, the, original, the original motivation for doing Hulk was toys, not Avengers, yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. So, but I'm just going by that math and kind of saying like, all right, to, re- to rehab the Avengers... I think you you probably need like a, a a good three characters, and you would have said, okay, who do you? And you need more than you needed before. So I was like, okay, I got Tom Holland, Spider Man. All right, I'll count him. He's still he's still gonna be on a contract. They'll pay him that, I believe, <laughs> and people like him, and that's fine. <laughs> I'll give him a pass for Black Panther because obviously that's an that was a tragedy that no one expected. But they would have had that. They don't have that anymore. <laughs> Thor is kind of the question mark. Could be <laughs> not in his current form, but like. What else? It's not Shang Chi. It's not Captain Marvel. It's not Miss Marvel. You know, Falcon as Cap. No, that's a that's a support. That's still a supporting character right now. He's got. I mean, unless Cap Four is better than I think it's going to be, that's a supporting character. Yeah. You know, nobody from the Eternals is going to make it. Like I just like that. There just isn't a lot of options right now. Yeah. They have not been able to cultivate much new that's exciting, and so. Yeah, I think you're going to need several anchor characters. And no, Hugh Jackman Wolverine is not one of those characters. Like, that that's not what we're looking for here. 
Yeah, but Ryan that, Reynolds, uh, he might wind up being one of those characters, but I don't know. Like, you know. But it's like, Ryan, uh, I mean, I understand in the comic books that some of these characters may or may have not been in the Avengers at one point, but it's like the Avengers to me is not the Avengers without Cap, without the Hulk, without the originals to me, to me. And if you can make a dope story out of some other Avengers, like Brian, and uh, I think it was, I don't know if it was a Fantastic Four cartoons where they were made the alternate Avengers. I forget. It was a, it was an episode where Wolverine was an Avenger, Spider Man was an Avenger. Yeah, whatever, under circum- certain circumstances, right? They have to come together and whatever, they're Avengers, whatever. But the original Avengers is, it's, 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 that's like the Justice League. You, are you kidding me? Good luck trying yeah. to pull that off. And like, I forget, I always forget the magic side of this, but I mean, I guess you have Doctor Strange, but, and then you buried Scarlet Witch, so she's off the board. You know, I, that's why, like, it's weird, like, as good as I think, you know, I, as good as I think the Loki show was, I weirdly was expecting all along that he had to end up as one of the Avengers because he actually was commercially popular, critically acclaimed, and recognizable. But where they've left him, I don't know if they can. Now, which may lead to maybe Thor 5 is more important than we think because if you can rehab Thor and somehow create an interesting story whereby Loki is somehow made available for the fight final fight against kang maybe you get two interesting characters to to line up on your hero on your hero team but i they're short man i just don't know how else to say it like if you if you just think about that scene in 2012 where the camera pans around the six of them and how exciting and momentous that was do that in your head with the people they have now and tell me what your excitement level is that, i mean that's the answer to the question i never heard of most of them Mitchell Friedman? Who are these f-ing guys? If they if, listen, if they want to attempt that, man, good luck. I'm gonna be on the other side waiting for the other stuff to come out. They also like small news tidbit, they also it's also slipped in the in, in the news items this week that the projected start date for Fantastic Four got pushed back again, like another six to nine months. So, like to the extent anyone was thinking that those heroes would become critical to this fight. That continues to look less and less likely as, as that movie struggles to kind of just get into the starting blocks. So Pedro Pascal is still on board, correct? Still rumored, but not confirmed. Uh, his schedule is open. He yeah. dropped out of another project. So like technically with the new start date, well, he might have some other work to do. We'll talk about that in another show, but it's predominantly voice work. So I imagine he could probably show up and actually do this part. <laughs> yeah, I still bring, have my doubts, but they'll bring the studio to him. <laughs> um, but yeah, let us know in the comments below what you guys think of the rumored casting and replacement of Jonathan Majors as Kane. Um, again, I don't know what to say about it. I don't know what story they're trying to tell. It seems like this is very important, Brian. Um, but let's see. I'm curious now because you, you really want to tell me something. I, right, what? Go ahead. Tell me. It better be good. <laughs> it better be good. Well, also you better now explain. Well, the other thing too is you better now, do they now have to explain the whole, like Victor Timely never gets the TVA book, but now Kang is still the... All the variants of Kang are still the threats to the universe. I mean, I guess you can explain your way out of that. Certainly, but certainly, certainly. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see what they do. Uh, yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gen Report. The show goes on! Yeah!